guys it's grocery haul time and this is week three of my four week flyby spend so essentially if you spend fifty dollars each week four weeks in a row i get ten thousand bonus points that was the flybys offer that i was given so to start off with i got some beef mints this was twelve dollars for one kilo so that's gone down in price by a dollar per kilo penne pasta i think that was 90 cents from coles we grabbed some prosciutto this was seven dollars for a hundred grams i think does it say yes there it is a hundred grams and then lemon a dollar twenty pesto a dollar ninety eight i think bacon four dollars i will run through a meal plan as well towards the end these sweet chili prawn skewers i thought were pretty cheap these were, I think, $9 or $10 for a pack of five, and they were on sale for $5. So it's, so it's essentially a dollar per skewer, and it's obviously all peeled. So that's going to be nice and easy to make dinner or maybe a light lunch. So I'm probably going to put that in the freezer and pull it out when we need it for meal prep or lunch. Grab some pikelets. These were actually marked down, which was even better. Original price is $2.20, and I noticed Woolly sells pikelets for $2.80. So either way, it was cheaper at Coles, and I was able to get them for $1.98. There were quite a few available as well. We'll probably have some pikelets with banana and maple syrup for brekkie on one of the days. Shepherd's Pie Mix. This was $1.80 for a pack, they were on special, so if you grabbed three packs for five dollars, it works out cheaper. But I figured I'll just grab one this time around because it was a dollar eighty, and I'm not sure if I've tried this brand before. So there's that burger rings my partner grabbed. I think they were they were on sale. They were definitely under a dollar fifty. So there's that cherry tomatoes. They were really cheap this week. They were two dollars a punnet. And camembert cheese, $3. Avocado, also really cheap, $2. And that baguette bread was, I think, $1.95. It did break on the way home. Um, that's entirely my fault, though. So in terms of meal prep, I'm going to be making a pesto pasta for my partner with some of those cherry tomatoes. And there's still some frozen chicken thigh in the freezer, which I'm going to be pan cooking with a bit of garlic and salt and then I'm going to add that to the pesto pasta. Also, I will be making some shepherd's pie. No, I think it I think it was Peck who told me in one of my other videos. It is a shepherd's pie. I think when you, when you use lamb mince, when you use beef mince, I think it's a cottage pie. I think that's what um, Peck told me last time, so I learned something new. So there's that because we have some leftover potatoes in the fridge that we need to use up. Carrots and onions, we have that in the fridge as well that we're going to use up. And then probably do like an avocado, tomato, lemon, salsa type thing to have with the baguette. And on the side, we're going to have that with some prosciutto and some camembert cheese. Here it is, camembert cheese. So I think I told you guys this was $3. I think it was $3.50 from memory. So let me know in the comments, guys, how much you think this total shop was. I think I did pretty good in this shop, to be honest, because a lot of the things that I wanted to consume or purchase was on sale anyways. So things like the prawns we didn't need, but because they were cheap, we grabbed them anyways to put in the freezer. Prosciutto, we didn't technically need this either. We could have replaced it with a more affordable ham if need be. Bacon, we're just gonna get to put in the freezer just to have on hand. Pasta, we've got some at home, but we figured just grab an extra bag there. And that's pretty much it. That wraps up my grocery haul, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. And that pretty much wraps up the video. So I'll see you guys in my next video.